Welcome back to the XR conference. We are a few minutes late, but I tell you it was worth the waiting because in the next 25 min minutes, we will get to know a very successful augmented reality sweepstake campaign, which was created here in Munich for a major German brand. And we will learn about the possibilities of the technology behind it, the web-based augmented reality. And I'm very happy that we could win two great speakers for this session. On the one hand, we have Eric Smutny. He's head of acquisition and marketing at K5 Factory. That's a Munich-based company that specializes in XR content and is backed by former team members of RE Creative Media Solutions and of K5 Film. And on the other hand, in Los Angeles, we have Kevin Straw with us. He's the director of business development at Eighth Wall. And Eighth Wall is an award-winning augmented reality platform with a complicated name, but it has a powerful technology and you know it makes completely new things possible in the web. So stay tuned and we want to start with Kevin's presentation. Eric is going to take over and after that we'll have a, uh, some questions. Hi, my name is Kevin Straw. I'm the Director of Business Development for Eighth Wall. And today I'm going to show you how 8th Wall's Web AR powers experiential marketing. 8th Wall is the world's leading Web AR technology provider. Our technology works with your e-commerce store, in the case of Nike for Paris Saint Germain, your content database, in the case of Heineken's Formula One Singapore Grand Prix sponsorship, and your geolocation activations, in the case of Ally Bank's real world monopoly scavenger hunt. In many ways, by showcasing 8th Wall's technology, I'm also showcasing the great creative work from our large network of agency partners, and I encourage you to get to know them. So, why do these well-known brands choose 8th Wall's Web AR to power their experiential marketing campaigns? The answer is frictionless reach and control. With 8th Wall's Web AR, no app download is ever required. This means that 8th Wall's Web AR works across close to 3 billion iOS and Android devices today. And as is becoming more important each day, there is no submission or approval required from any app store provider. Our partners control their own content and can launch their web AR experiences to the widest possible global audience whenever they want to. And in doing so, they're rewarded with meaningful engagement. This is no two or three second measurement threshold. I'm talking real engagement with your web AR experience with over 80% of users spending more than one minute engaging and 50% of users spending more than two minutes engaging. Let's take a look at 8thWall's core technology offerings to understand why this is. Our world tracking allows your customers to place 3D content in their real world space. This is possible because 8thWall built its own simultaneous localization and mapping or SLAM engine. And then our engineers hyper-optimize our SLAM engine to run real-time real AR on mobile web browsers, allowing for a great experience worldwide. This video shows Microsoft's volumetric captured content running in a real-world environment. This activation has been used for a fashion show, a campaign for Burger King involving the rapper Tiny, and currently for an activation for Spotify starring Sam Smith. But this isn't the only augmented reality technology that we provide. One of the most popular offerings, our image target technology, brings your product packaging, signage, bottles, cups, and cans to life with your video 3D animation and holographic content. And these can be used together as this fish example shows. These are all rear facing camera uh, activations, but we also have a front facing camera product called Face Effects. And our face effects offering works on phones, tablets, and desktops. You can create high quality face effects and try on accessories like glasses or jewelry. And you can quickly share a picture or a short video. Eighth Wall is currently the only company in the world providing in browser video recording. And you can try this offering today by visiting our product project library on our website. And I want to also lead with modular framework. Finally, our powerful modular camera application framework is designed to integrate with computer vision technologies and external libraries such as voice recognition and location services. This video shows commercial campaigns created for Sony Pictures' Spider-Man Far From Home and for Heineken sponsorship of the Singapore Grand Prix, where machine learning was integrated with 8th Wall to recognize two Heineken bottles toasting. Now that you understand what 8th Wall offers brands and marketers, 
Let's take a look at some of our selected agency partners based in Germany. To replace a traditional in-person meet and greet, this highly successful interactive experience encouraged fans to pose with their favorite contestant, snap a quick picture, and then share this unique content via the Pose at Home Challenge, all the while continuing to increase awareness of Germany's next top model programming. In this example of talking down the invisible wall, the WebAir experience was designed to overcome political, social, and ecological divides in Germany 30 years after the fall of the imposing physical wall. And today, prejudices are reinforced within filter bubbles and new walls in people's heads are being erected. This award-winning experience ultimately aimed to facilitate understanding and dialogue. On a different vein, our automotive partners like to showcase new models using our WebAR technology. This common and effective user flow allows for a limited customization of a model and then links to the automaker's more robust car customizer on its website, which in turn is tied to their dealer CRM network, as is the case of this WebAR experience for the Vogel XC40 Recharge Plug-in Hybrid. And this user flow can be incorporated into print, digital, broadcast, and real-world campaigns, as this next example shows. This captivating WebAR campaign showcased the new Maserati Levante Trophier, and users simply scanned a QR code to bring the static double-page print image to life. When the experience concludes, the user is automatically directed to the campaign website to learn more. But automakers are not the only industry to take advantage of the ease of facilitating sales through WebAR. Fashion and e-commerce industry frequently likes to showcase a product in WebAR and then link to their e-commerce site for users to conclude a purchase. In addition to our top agency partner showcase here, brands and corporations within the German market have selected Eighthwell as their preferred WebAR partner. There's perhaps no better example of this than Porsche. In this WebAR training experience, an animated avatar takes employees on a journey through Porsche's past, present, and future, where users can explore realistically animated Porsche locations, support the construction of a car build, and even take the driver's seat in a virtual Porsche. This WebAR training experience was developed by our agency partner, Innovation Rocks, and recently received two prestigious Red Dot Awards. In addition, prominent businesses headquartered in Germany use Eighthwell's WebAR services to reach their customers throughout the world. The campaigns showcased here have run throughout Europe, Asia, Australia, and North America for well-known German corporations. And finally, many of our clients include the German market within their global campaigns. In this instance, Lego released a WebAR campaign at retail to support the rollout of its award-winning hidden side set. This campaign was created by our agency partner, Hoopla Digital UK, and ran in 36 countries. This is just a small selection of the commercial campaigns that we've powered to date. If you'd like to learn more or discuss a future project, please email us. We'd love to start working with you too. Thank you. And now, I look forward to joining Eric from K5 Factory to share more about their incredibly successful campaign. And now Eric is going to take over to uh, tell, uh, tell us about one project that you can build with this amazing technology. Eric, your turn. Thank you. Thanks, Wolfgang. Um, oh, you could run the other, it's, it's much shorter uh, video. Wow. Genau das ist die Reaktion, die wir uns wünschen. Genau darum haben wir bei 3 Liter Werbung und Film Unsere neueste Unpack Promotion Idee mit den Augmented Reality Pionieren von K5 Factory realisiert. Mit der ersten AR Promotion für Deutschlands Nummer 1, den Müller Milchreis, haben wir eine neue Qualität von Unterhaltung, Involvement und Immersion erschaffen. Jede Packung führt über den Unpack Störer zu einem QR Code im Produkt. Erstmal reinhauen und Energie tanken und mit dem nächsten Becher gewinnen. Hier wecken wir den Spieltrieb der Menschen, wenn sie ihr Smartphone einsetzen und so in die Welt faszinierender und virtueller Markenunterhaltung eintauchen. 
In die reale Umgebung des Anwenders projiziert die Augmented Reality die individuellen Botschaften des jeweiligen Codes. Ich hoffe, du bist jetzt gestärkt, denn du hast 50.000 Euro gewonnen! Und so gewinnt jeder. Die Marke gewinnt Brand Loyals durch das verlängerte, intensive und positive Erlebnis mit dem Produkt. Und der Kunde gewinnt durch die Immersion und die erstaunliche Unterhaltung, die ihm seine Marke bietet. Wir entwickeln für Sie neue Marken, Promotion und Kommunikationsideen. Und wir setzen sie in Augmented und Virtual Reality perfekt um. Eric, tell us more about this. Okay, so uh, I guess you've just watched the video. I couldn't see it, but um, uh, I, I guess we packed in um, all the information we had available at that point. Because just to be added that um, currently we're, we surpassed 1.5 million AR engagements, which is tremendous. Uh, given the information from Kevin, our partners in uh, California, Eighth Wall, who've been uh, running this uh, promotion for us, we've been among the 25 most successful AR promotions globally. I mean, this is very impressive since this promotion was only run in the German market. And um, it had a, a tremendously successful conversion rate. Uh, which we have heard from a client. So yeah, we were very proud uh, to have worked with, with uh, for one of our partners, uh, the Creative Ages Three Leaders here in Munich and uh, Kevin's team in, in uh, California and sharing that they've, you know, this is a work uh, that, that can only be uh, accomplished uh, in, in teams, sharing insights, uh, Uh, very, very important experiences, uh, and now we're basically, you know, hoping that the cases that Kevin has uh, shown us in his presentation, that there's going to be more, um, well, curiosity, especially on, on client side, to test AR, and I think the marketability of, of uh, AR has has. Uh, grown incrementally, uh, especially because uh, we also have worked with a web-based solution. Maybe we've, yeah, Kevin, you'd like to share some ideas on the cases that you have shown. We've also seen some um, very successful stories that have been developed by German agencies here for German brands. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Um, I, you know, first off, K5, um, when they reached out to us, listened to everything that uh, our, us as a team had seen over the past year and a half uh, as we're running hundreds of campaigns for other partners around the world. And they took everything that we asked them to do to heart. They actually implemented it, everything correctly and they were rewarded for it. They got incredible engagement. You see, you know, great dwell time for their experience. It's, they had marketed clearly. It had all of the right elements. And, and what they've done is actually something that is, that's something they can bring to other consumer packaged goods experiences and replicate this. And that's really important because AR is still such a new medium and eighth wall has taken away the friction of getting people into AR. And then K5 has done, the great creative work to make people want to engage with this content easily. It's not, there's no barriers to entry. They understand there's going to be some AR experience and, you know, to top it off, they're actually uh, entered to win a contest, which is also a great call to action. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask uh, because actually um, beyond the numbers, how did the users react? Because, you know, you, you let them work. They have to pick up their smartphone. They have to scan a QR code. So you have to work for a commercial. How, how do you make sure that people really do it? Eric, maybe you can tell us about, about this. Or Kevin, from well, your experience. Well, sure, uh, thanks. I think, uh, you know, the, the, the brand engagement was, was uh, prepared. The potential to engage with the brand was prepared with great creative uh, um, thinking and, and uh, groundwork. But... And overall, we're, we're, we're talking to an animated figure that is well known in the German speaking market. And it was so engage, engaging to, to, to 
you know, to overcome those steps that you needed to go. Uh, that uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we would need to look into those figures, uh, but I'm pretty sure that there was a lot of repeat uh, purchase uh, in, in, in included. So overall, to answer your question, there was there was a great creative idea behind it. There was a lot of uh, courage with the client to, uh, yeah go that extra mile and, and test it. We we're talking about the very first AR sweepstake promotion in the German market. So um, that was a bit pioneering, revolutionary uh, in a small sense, but it was a, a wonderful creative idea and a great, great platform uh, and a lot of uh, fantastic support from 8th Wall. And Kevin, one last question for you. Um, now that that AR seems to be ready, so you don't need an app, everybody can use it what else will we see in the coming years yeah i mean just in the last not even two years since we've had our first commercial example we've gone from having 3d models in your space to bringing image targets alive over the web to streaming holograms face effects curved image targets all of these computer vision technologies that were shown in my presentation and we just we continue to work with a network of agency partners who push the boundaries, their clients are demanding, they push the boundaries and bring things into a new um, medium and that they're telling the story and that their consumers and fans are engaging with their brand. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing engagement versus passive action. Um, you know, in my video, I say we don't, this isn't a two or three second video that you can skip over you see real engagement, minutes and minutes of engagement. And, you know, we get people lost in portals and, and they love that, or they play a mini game with their friends. So really, uh, when you look at what's great work is being done in the advertising uh, and production community, all of that's possible over a web browser through 8th Wall. Great. So uh, advertising is going to be more interactive and more engaging. And uh, that sounds like fun. Um, uh, Kevin and Eric, thank you for this insight. Sorry for the technical issues. I hope everybody got it right. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you. And we are really looking forward um, on the next project that you will show the world. Thank you very much. And stay tuned, everybody. Thank after you. In, in five minutes, we'll continue and we'll dive deep, deeper into the topic of spatial computing. See you later.